Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on binary calculations on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. We're going to calculate the following using binary numbers. We've got them listed here A to D and in blue I've also put the decimal equivalents of those calculations. So in order to do this we need to change the mode of the calculator to base N, so it's menu and then it's option 3 on the 991EX. You will need the base N mode on your calculator to be able to do this. It's on some different models, so you just have to double check if you've got that available. You can see that it's currently in decimal, DEC, and we're going to change this to binary. You can see that here in blue, it's just above the log button, so let's press that. And you can see it's now in binary. And so from here, it's relatively simple. We just need to input our binary numbers. So we're starting with 101, plus 100, we press equals. Now you can see that we have a lot of digits displayed. Now if we're going to write our answer down, we're just interested in starting from the first one digit that we have, and then carrying on from there. So it's 1001 for our answer here. And if we did want to see what the decimal equivalent of that was, we could just change here to decimal. You can see that that's nine. Obviously that corresponds well with the decimal calculation, which is really five plus four that we've got there. Let's switch back to binary. Let's do the second one. 101 subtract 10, 101 subtract 10. Here we have our answer, 11, which would be three. And then straight into the next one, it's relatively straightforward. 1101 multiplied by 111. And here we have our longest answer, which is 101101, which is actually the equivalent of 91 in decimals. And the last one that we have here, again, very straightforward, just type it straight onto the next line. 11011 divided by 11, and that equals 1001. Now, if you remember, that's the same as the first answer there. So that is, in fact, 9 as well, 27 divided by 3 as the decimal equivalent. So there we go, pretty straightforward to do calculations in binary. You do need the base N mode and then switch that to binary and then it's just a case of inputting the numbers in your calculation. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.